You guys, look at my cute little bartender. Welcome back to like... Sister Soft TV. Before we get started, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps our algorithm. So just continue to support us with your subscription and also with your comments and your likes. All right, so let's go ahead and get on to this topic. So I want to talk about who is coming back for Real Housewives of Potomac Season 6. Okay, so according to Andy Cohen about, like, I want to say a few weeks ago, he said that pretty much everybody is returning. So, I'm taking it that Monique is returning, Candace is returning, Wendy is returning, Giselle is returning, Karen is returning, and Robin is returning. So, pretty much everyone is returning back to the cast. Now, do I think that everyone should return? Of course, I think everyone should return. Like, it is hard out here, guys. We are in the middle of a pandemic. I don't want I don't want to see any black women lose their job or be like demoted or anything. So, of course, I want to see everybody return. Now, should everybody return? So, Candace has been on a press run, how she doesn't want to see Monique Samuels return. Um, she thinks that it is a toxic environment for her to return back on the show. And if it was up to her, she doesn't want to see Monique return. So, my thought is that if it's so toxic, and if you just do not want to see this woman return, why don't you step down? Because you, in the during the reunion, you were the one that was continuously antagonizing Monique and saying, you know, anything she says, you're whispering under your breath, you're, you know, directing things at her and stuff, and she's ignoring you. So you are the one who is making the environment toxic. You are Candace. So if you don't want to see Monique return, you don't want to be in the same environment with her, you don't want to film with her, the easy way is just step down, right? You just just leave. If you don't if you are so traumatized and you don't want to see Monique return, you don't want to be around her, wouldn't the easy way the easy way would just be hey I don't want, you know, I just don't want to be around this person. Like, I am just going, for my safety and for my sanity, I am just going to step down. Because if the network does not want to, you know, they want Monique back. And Monique, they want to see her back and they want her back on the show. Then if you are so traumatized, Candace, why don't you just step down? Wouldn't that just be the easiest way? Wouldn't it? Hmm. I mean, I just feel like if, if it was me in that position and I'm so traumatized, I'm so, all these things that are happening to me, I, you know, just for my sanity, I would just go ahead, you know what, I don't need this. I'm just going to step back. I think that would be the, what the best thing to do to solve this issue. Right? So, honestly, I really think that everyone, I want everyone to come back. I just want all of this to, like, these ladies to fix their issue, whatever is going on. Because right now, it's just becoming so, so toxic and so draining. If the network wants Monique back, and a lot of people do want Monique back because her name was literally talked about most of the season. So a lot of people do want Monique back, honestly. And if you're so traumatized, Candace, why were you continuously antagonizing Monique during the reunion? That is what I don't understand. And she's ignoring you. Monique is ignoring you throughout the reunion. And you're continuously... It, it, it's so... Like, it makes it so difficult to feel, to sympathize with you, Karen. I mean, not Karen, but to sympathize with you, Candace, as the victim that you are portraying to be, it makes it so difficult. It really does. It makes it extremely difficult. 
Now, to solve your issue, and if you don't want to see, you know, to to solve your issue as far as not filming with Monique, just step down. Just say, I don't want to be a part of Real Housewives of Potomac. Easy way. For all the agony you went through, the trauma you went through, everything. Like, just say, hey, tell Andy, tell the network, you know, like, hey, I just, you know, this is just not for me, for my sanity. That is just what, that's the best thing to do, right? Isn't it? Yeah, so, but for you going on um, all these platforms, doing all this interview, say you don't want Monique back, that's not your, that's not your call. And you, I mean, yeah, you mentioned that that's not, that's not up to you, but obviously you just, you, you just don't want to see her on the show. Well, how about if you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to be around her, say, I'm going to step down as a cast member or as a cast mate right i mean that's that's what you should do because it just makes it so hard for us viewers you know we were sympathizing with you we we sympathize with you especially when, you know everything that went on it wasn't right and stuff but if you're continuously aggravating and you're antagonizing your the person who who hurt you or so it makes it very hard it really does and I wonder how next season is going to be with just Giselle and Robin and, you know, I, I just wonder, like, what, what, what possibly can happen? I honestly think that, I, I don't know. I honestly do not know how next season is going to be um, because this is just, it's getting really toxic. You guys, all of you guys are making the situation really, really toxic and Every, I think everyone played a role in that, in that fight, and that is my stance on it. Everyone played a role in that fight for it to escalate like that. And how is it so that after everything Ashley has done, and so Ashley Darby, she's able to find a way to integrate herself back into the group and everyone can be so accepting of her? and film with her and all this stuff like how is that you guys let me know because i i really want to understand like what is going on and why all of these ladies feel so compelled that they just want to boot monique off the show if you don't want to do your job and be on the this is a reality show the easy the easy the best thing to do is just leave that's honestly the best thing to do you know, just say, like, I don't, you know, just for my sanity, I don't want to do this. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, I just wanted to come on here and just kind to just, I wanted to just talk to you guys about this. Let me know what your opinion is. Do you think that Candace should just, you know, step down as a housewife if she is so traumatized from something that happened one month, I mean, one year ago? And this is not... This is not to victim shame. We don't, we, we should never victim shame, but it makes it so hard for us to sympathize with a victim who continuously antagonizes the rest of the cast and also antagonizes someone who is ignoring them. What do you guys think? This is honestly something that we really need to talk about. All right, guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Peace, love, and blessing. Hey guys, I know I was going to end the video, but I have one more thought. So I was going, I wanted to say that sometimes the best way to overcome something is face, like, I wouldn't say your biggest fear. Yeah, kind of face like your biggest fear. And that is the best way to like grow is for you to overcome something that you maybe you're running away from so i honestly think that it would be such a brilliant idea for the producers to kind of have monique and candace to i mean set up a way where they can have a one-to-one -one discussion without the ladies a one a discussion that's very mature and for them to kind of talk about whatever issues that they have, 
you know and i think that it would look so good to kind of see these two ladies kind of talk and overcome this kind of hurdle between both of them um between monique and candace and it just shows like growth it shows overcoming something because i honestly feel like these two ladies are each other's worst nightmare you know they're right now they're in the odds they're enemies and it would be so good to kind of see this like positivity and this like growth that to see both of them like grow and overcome something and i really think that, that is what producers really need to do and from i mean by candace running away from this whole situation with monique you're never going to grow um or overcome you never it's not going to show any growth as far as within character and monique also running away from the situation is never going to show growth as well too so i think that the true essence of growth is really overcoming something that you're maybe you're always running away from or you don't want to you know you don't want to be around or something like that and i think that that is really what the true essence of growth and overcoming and just becoming more powerful within your own and becoming more powerful with you know handling your emotion and i honestly think that that would be more of a better you know what viewers would actually like to see because like nobody wants to see like you have all these five group of ladies coming together to say i don't want to film with this person or i don't want that's kind of really annoying <laughs> it's it it honestly is really annoying and i think that that's what real housewives used to be about how it's a reality show you're put in positions that you don't want to be around. You know, you're put in awkward position and the essence and the beauty of it is to see how the person is going to react and to see how, if they can overcome that. But by you, you know, saying you don't want, you know, you don't want to do this, that's just kind of like manipulating the scene and it doesn't become reality anymore. It's more of staged. So, yeah that's what i wanted to like come on um and just kind of say i know i was going to end the video but um yeah i think i'm gonna end the video now all right guys thank you guys so much peace love and blessings and please continue to like and subscribe to our channel thank you guys and happy holidays peace love and blessings once more